Uh, last year, um, uh, Lucky Child, we sold 350 ships. Wow! Last year to Waski. That's year to Waski. Super. Yes, yeah, so at, at, at this moment here, we have the cost of at least huh, 16,000 to 14,500 or 14,000 lots. Wow! Yes. Simply the way they today I make a visit to King's Farm. Um, today the largest and the biggest farm ever in the Gambia. They have the greatest farmer right. So um, they do um, mixed farming right. So, so here is Amphal. Um, he will let us know um, what they do here. And uh, here is where they sell the most affordable um, Tobasco ram for the Gambians. So here I go. Um, yesterday I myself, lucky child, bought a ram over here, which is affordable, I really like it, and it's so big. Um, so simply the way you can intro yourself to the uh, four corners of the world. I am uh, Amphal Jabang. I'm, uh, I'm a farm representative um, of this farm. Yeah. Yes, we, we are the workers of this farm here. Yeah. But I'm um, the CEO of the farm's name is uh, Mohamed Jacobs. He is the trendsetter behind all this ambition. Well known as here. Hamude. Hamude, yes, as well, <laughs> you know, a household name. Yeah. So um, uh, the main aim of this farm here is um, to do sheep breeding mm -hmm. and then uh, fattening. Mm -hmm. So at the, at the moment where you are here, mm -hmm. this project here that we are emphasizing on mm -hmm. is the fattening project. Wow. Fattening especially means to give the ships a good weight. Good weight. Yes, for a yeah. proper consumption and then to good have health. It. Yes, and then good health. Yeah. With uh, nutrients and proteinous foods as well. Yeah. And then making sure we give them their their, their, their specific injections yeah. uh, depending on to vaccinate them or else to deworm them. Wow. Yes, to deworm them, yes, and then give them the vitamins yeah. needed, you know, the, the uh, vitamin A for them to be able to eat properly. Properly. Yes, yeah. and then digest it as well. Wow. So here is the fastening project. So from the fastening project, yeah. we, 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 we do extract and then sell rams for Tobaski. For Tobaski. Yes. Wow. But um, we have a breeding project too that Can is go going in? on, yeah. which is at the other side of the farm. The other side? Yes, at the other side of the farm, so just at the entrance. Okay. Yes, um, uh, if willingly we will... So do you guys have goats? Yes, goats we, we do have goats, but our goats right now are not are not are not all gathered together oh. for 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 for, uh, for business purpose. Yeah. Yes, but um, we do have goats here as well. Yeah. Yes, but um, that, that for uh, for the goat side, we have not yet um gathered them together uh, for business purpose. But at the moment, we've all gathered we've gathered all these ramps together well before Tobaski. Yeah. Yesterday we actually were like on Wednesday. Yes. And we are expecting two hundred to four hundred. Yeah. Uh, last year, um. Uh, uh, Lucky Child, we sold 350 ships. Wow! Last year to Waski. That's year to Waski. So this year, God willingly, yeah. we will want to double that. We want to double that. We will want to double that. We have started selling since um, last week. Yes, um, this batch here that has come consists of at least um, 75 ships. Wow! Yes, but at least now I think 50 ships are remaining. Remaining. Yes, right. from the from the from the, from this first uh, first batch. This is nice, Gambia. Yes. And your phone will be busier than before. I know. Yes. So uh, can you tell us? Um, how much are the price? At this moment, um, talking of cheap, yeah. I can say it is just reasonable. Yeah. But um, uh, you know, the cost of ship and uh, the the necessities that are to keep the yeah. ship yeah. Are, are, are of a high cost. Wow. Yes. The, the feeding alone, and uh, and then and then and then the upbringing, yeah. cost a lot because um, each ship here a day. We spend five hundred dollars on each ship for their feeding. Whoa! Yes, and uh, talk less of their vaccinations and uh, the med 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 medications and, 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 and all, like all the likes. Yeah. So, uh, I want to understand whether um, uh, the ship they are since they were they here since they were young. Yes, they were here since they were young. Yes, they were here since they were young, but not not, not our own breed. Oh, okay. Yes, we brought them from Senegal when they were young. We started working on them, to give them uh, to make sure they get the weight, the, the weight needed oh. for for Basque. So they have been here for about um, uh, uh, two weeks before before uh, before 
before this month, like um, two weeks before this date. You know? This day. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, so as I told you yesterday, um, if somebody in here or out there they want um, a joint business because you guys are doing mixed farming. Yes. Talking of you... the price you said, um, yes. I was coming to that. Okay. Yes. Uh, you asked me, but um, you said um, cheap, but I would say reasonable. Reasonable. Yes. yes. Reasonable for the fact that we are doing it for the Gambians, mm -hmm. and we are Gambians as well. Yeah. So people that venture into this round business are mostly. Um, uh, the Guineans, yes, the Guineans and then yes, Senegalese yeah. as well, yeah. Yeah. because uh, those are the ones that understand the business well. Well, yeah. So, but for us, yeah, we've been and uh, venturing into this business. This year is five years now. Five years. Five years. Yeah. We started it in a very small scale. Mm -hmm. Yes, we started in a very small scale. We only do fattening. Wow. By then. By then. Just before. to sell for round purpose. Okay. But you guys we, are having the most um, largest poultry farm in the Gambia. You have the biggest farm in the Gambia. So if somebody or someone in need of join hand or to invest with you guys, are you guys ready for that? Yes, our hands are always open. Mm -hmm. Our doors too are always open for each and everyone, mm -hmm. especially especially philanthropists and the government. Wow. Yes, so we are here doing the job, and then we are we, we still people said we we are on a high scale, but we we see that we are still on a low scale. Low scale. Because our limits are the sky is our limit yes. to get to where we want to, because we want to make ship affordable, and then. Uh, get to the doorsteps of each and every Gambian. Yeah. So for that being the case, we will we will we will welcome each and everyone that wants to do this business, you know. Yeah. So it's not a big deal. Yes, okay. we will welcome each and everyone that wants to do the business. Yes. Yeah. So um right now do you have something? Yeah for the categories that yeah. we have of this batch here um uh, consists of because uh, one thing we need to understand as the ships are staying longer yeah. we are feeding them. So as we are feeding them, which means if we are to sell business-wise, as it stays longer, the price goes goes up. Goes up. Yeah, because because, because the feeding today. cost as well. Yeah. So when we say last week the ship was costing this nine thousand, nine thousand might be it yeah. might cost extra. Yeah. Before the Tobasco. Before the Tobasco. Because we will be feeding it. If you buy your ship here now, the feeding. The feeding cost is on you, yeah. which means we will not have to suffer on that again. Okay. But at the moment, we are selling the ships almost, almost yeah, maximum. You know, you know because of yes. last year, you guys are selling the same ramps like this yes. for 9,000, yes. 8,000. Of course, yes, that is very yeah. evident. It's because of you guys are having the elephant we, grass. Yes, here, we had supplement. No, that yeah. is what is helping us still. That is why our price is still limited. Yeah. Because um, we have supplement food that we give our ships. Yeah. Yes, we grow our own, we, we farm as well. Yeah, you are real farmers. If we don't farm, if we don't farm, we want to depend on buying, mm. buying the hay. Mm. That will that will cost a lot on the on the masses. Wow. So that's why we try to do supplementaries to make sure um, uh, we get the business wisely, wisely. to get it uh, affordable to the people. So as I said well before, yes. Um, how much it will be cost right at the moment? Where are yeah, well, I will I will tell you through categories, hmm? through categories because um, uh, as of now there are only two categories left here. We used to have three categories. You know, the higher category, the minimum, and the smaller categories. Smaller, yeah. But the smaller categories that cost that used to cost thirteen thousand. Mm -hmm. are all gone gone yes yeah, so at, at, at this moment here we have the cost of at least huh, 16,000 to 14,500 or 14,000 lots wow yes at this moment those are the categories that are remaining here yes at the moment you said how much 16,000 yes to 14,000 you see this one or anywhere we go no, they no, used to tell us like 25 yeah. 35,000 yeah, anyway, anyway, so. anyway, we will not put a burden on our own people. Yeah, as I said. Yeah, we, we know we, we know the business. Yeah, we are in, we are venturing into it. We are farming as they are, people, as they yeah. are. Yes. So we have our ways and means to make it affordable for the people. For the people. Yes, that we have so, our own secret. So yeah. that, that that doesn't mean that ram the ram cost doesn't exceed our 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 cost. Wow. Really, because we have our own strategies that we do to help the people. Okay. Yes, because um, uh, the the hair cost at the moment is up to thousand dollars is per bag. Wow. Yes. Yes. That's what. Yes. That's crazy. Yeah? Yes. And so, then um, this. So can you tell us um, as far as you guys are doing horticulture, mixed farming, mixed farm. what kind of farming exactly that you guys are doing to yeah. feed the nation? Yes. Um, uh, we're doing mixed farming. Mm -hmm. um, uh, when it comes to the rainy season, mm -hmm. we do grow corn, mm -hmm. 
and even prior to the rainy season, yes. we do have um, a structure of sprinkler system that we set in our farms. In, in the farms. Yes. So we grow our corn or maize prior to the rainy season so that we will be harvesting earlier. Ah, At yeah. least in the rainy season, we will have two harvests. Two harvests in during, the rainy season. Yes, during the rainy season. Okay. So that is a strategy that we've put. And we have a horticultural garden mm -hmm. after the rainy season okay. that we, 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 do, we do endeavor on. For the for the for the women that do sell at the market, market you know, yeah. they do come here for. You have a bakery farm here. Yes, a farm, yes. We of course you know. have a castle farm, a bakery here. <laughs> yeah. Yes, um, a poultry uh, farm. It is really innovative. <laughs> it is really innovative. And then uh, the youths of Lamel mm -hmm. are the ones embracing all these projects that um, uh, Mohammed Jacobs is doing, allies Hamude. Mm -hmm. So which means um, it is a source of employment for the community as well. As well. So it's a great gesture that has been yeah. done here. Yeah, really. Yes. So um, right now, um, so are we going to visit the other side? Yes, let me show you the supplement, the supplement okay. food that we do give the ships as well. Um, one minute, let me just put it out. If the ships have to see this, they will also lose their concentration. This is called the Rakal Mali. Rakal Mali? Yes, this is called the Rakal Mali. Where do you bought it from? We bought this. This one is bought from the Abattoir, but okay. um, uh, the source is from Senegal. Wow, wow, yes, wow. they make it in, in, in Senegal. We don't have factories that do make these animal feeds. Animal That's feeds. why it's getting so expensive for us here. Okay. You know? so, so this is the, this the, is the supplement food that we give them during the evening. And in, the, in, in, in You yeah. see? You see how they're coming? This is just like a cornflakes to them. <laughs> yeah, really. Acha, 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 acha. Actually, they like it. They like it. They like it. Of course. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> this is the supplement food that we give them. Wow. Apart from the hay and and the corn and the corn feed. You, know? well, that, um, you mentioned like um the Gam in the Gambia here they don't have the factory over here to make the food. If somebody wants to invest into that, are you guys really want um, people to join you for agriculture or stuff like that? Yeah, really the raw materials are here. Uh, in Gambia. In Gambia, yes. Yeah. The raw materials are so in Gambia. So it means you need the machine and so, stuff like yes, that. So yes, the machines are all what is necessary yeah. to carry on with it. Wow. So the people in Holland, I know they will know how these processes have been made because Holland is good in uh, animal 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 husbandry and the system and the like so but nonetheless nonetheless Senegal is just besides also we depend on them on this animal feed animal animal like, yes so can you read your number we close up the video in case if somebody or someone needs to contact you yes. talk to your life and direct yes really yes yeah. uh, as it is um, you can get me on whatsapp on 2353 118 yeah yes as it is you know. Okay, yeah. so well before, um, after the Ramadan or after the Tawaski, sorry, after the Tawaski, and we will come here and we will make a full tour in the farm. So stay tuned with Nice Gambia, subscribe, wait for the powerful, beautiful videos that are coming up. And we are working each and every day, every day to change the narrative of Africa, the Gambia. So agriculture is the only solution to change the narrative of Africa. Subscribe, basically like it, share it to the four corners of the world. Because yourself.